Fast Friends are back with another video. I have 300 subscribers now. I, I don't even know what to do. I don't know 300 people in my life that would actually care about my opinion, let alone, you know, people that care about the stuff I do with DIY. So thank you everybody that's already out there. I can only imagine what like a million subscriber people feel like. So uh, awesome. Like, you know, I'm trying to get perspective. If I had 300 people in an audience, I'd be ecstatic. Like that's really cool. So I plan on using this forum for good, not evil. So on this episode, I wanted to make a really portable computer. You know, something you could possibly land with, something you could just edit with, like a laptop, something that doesn't, you know, cost an arm and a leg and it can actually give you performance. So, on my last video, I actually planned on using this. Just random uh, scrap plexi and, uh, well, I don't know, it might be HTPE. But uh, I planned on using this to actually make a computer case out of. It was a cool idea, but unfortunately it was a time sink. And between it being a time sink and the fact that I've lost my first two videos that were about 20 minutes each of me actually getting it to this point here, um, I'm giving up on that for now. It's, uh, it's a cool project, but it's, it's not really good for anybody. Like, not anybody can do it. Not any, anybody's going to be able to find just random plexiglass in the trash. Insert the Harbor Freight ammo can. Hmm. Wonderful. Something you can find pretty much anywhere. You can order it online if you want. It's a knockoff from a real ammo can. It's not an ammo can. But at least, you know, it's a structural box made out of, you know, steel. And on top of that, the top here, which is obviously detachable, has a wonderful rubber gasket on here. Like it's thick, it's beefy, it will seal. So my thought process is, is that I want to make a computer where I plug in all the ports on top. So basically everything is going to be up here. All your plugs, all your HDMI, you know, all your USBs and everything is going to be up here. But when you close it, it's still a complete unit. You can just take this wherever you go. It's rugged. It'll be a good computer. So on that note, uh, I actually stole this idea. Um, I'll try to find the actual link of some dude that made that back when CRT monitors were still a thing, which to me is so long ago. And to you guys, I don't even know if you guys know what CRT monitors are. So who knows? Plan on taking this and what I'll do is I'll still use some spare plexiglass. As you can see, it's nice and dirty. It's actually been sitting out in the rain for a while. But I'm going to cut this down to shape. As you can see, it's, you know, not really of shape. But I'm going to cut it down to shape and actually be able to fit inside of the ammo can and frost up this glass. So you can't see straight through it, but it kind of gives a cool effect if I put a light behind it. I think that'll be nice. And theoretically, then I'll be able to put that same motherboard on my last video into this case. I've already tested it. I have about that much clearance before it hits the roof, so I should have plenty of room realistically. And I'm going to build that into my next computer. That's going to be on uh, pretty much all the next videos that I do because I need to get this done. And I need to get, you know, everything going because the com current computer I have can't edit videos at all. It's just too slow. My phone is dead. I'm using a uh, old, my old Nikon right now. And hopefully this video comes through and I can actually make a good YouTube video. But... That will be cut down, the case will be cut down, so I'll theoretically have a mini little weatherproof little LAN computer and uh, at any point I can add a PCI Express card to it to make an actual gaming PC. So all of that and more on my next videos. So stay tuned, but until next time, this has been, ba this has been Vash Venture.